Hello everyone and welcome to a new mech video of June 2019. We have the Dervish, one of the classic original 3025 designs. Here it is, the medium support mech that was introduced um, mainly by the Federated Sons, really. They, they used it most. Uh, some uh, units of Enlyron, but it's it's actually prolific across the Inner Sphere, but it's mostly used by the Federated Sons. And uh, that was the build there, a couple of extra tons of ammo, uh, some armor increase here and there, the engine's the same, haven't really messed with that, the weapons are exactly the same. So it's two SRM2s, two LRM10s, and two medium lasers. It's seen as a poor man's archer in-universe, uh, but I actually think it's probably more versatile than that. Compared to the archer, which it's uh, mocked uh, by other pilots, it does at least have jump jets, it's pretty fast, and it's engagement range is a lot better. Um, in terms of Mechorion Online, it's got better rate of fire because of the two LRM-10s backed up by the SRM-2, so at least you can engage targets at medium, short, and long range. You might not be doing a lot of damage, but in conjunction with other teammates, you can pile on the pressure. Design-wise, the top half looks really good. Uh, the cockpit here is nice. You, I, what I just zoomed in on there was the kill counter, which they've put into the very top part of the uh, center of the cockpit, so you can just sort of see the little lines for the atlas heads for each kill you get, which is a nice use of the space. Uh, the cockpit looks really nice though. Uh, the animations, uh, they seem kind of generic unfortunately, a little bit bouncy, nothing to write home about there. The legs sadly don't look like the dervish legs, in fact they look very similar to another mech that's already in game, but I can't quite remember. I'm sure someone in the comments will know exactly what mech these have been borrowed from, but yeah, it looks very, very similar. I don't want to get into too much about the lore side of things, because I'll do that for the lore warrior at a later date, but the mecking game so far, I really, really enjoy it. It's good. It's fun, as I said. The default engines keep it moving at a nice brisk pace. It's got a good mix of missile and energy hard points, and yeah, it's all jump capable. And the only downside to it from the off-ski is its armor is a little bit weak in places. certainly has single figures for rear armor, so you might want to increase that. Um, ammunition is also a bit limited from the stock mode. I mean, the reason I added two extra, sorry, two extra tons there was because you only come with a single ton per launcher, which, again, on tabletop makes perfect sense. You're never really going to run out of ammo unless it's a really, really long protracted fight. But uh, in Mechorian Online, a single ton of ammo for each LRM-10 isn't going to last you long, especially with the number of missiles you just spam into the sky, so... Yeah, that needs to be addressed. But I did increase a few things here and there. Obviously, this being the 6M, it only comes with standard heat sinks, so you upgrade that to doubles, that frees up a bit of weight and the like. Um, issues with it? Low slung arms, so you've got to be aware of that. Uh, it does have issues with its medium lasers and SRM2s possibly hitting friendlies and possibly hitting the environment. I think at one point I do accidentally clip someone with an SRM2 strike, because while I'm zoomed in, I'm not... Con uh, completely aware of the of my peripheral vision there, being able to see where a friendly was, so I end up hitting him, but yeah, I've played it a bunch of times more since, and yeah, it, it does have low slung arms, you have to be aware of that. I really like the animation for the missile pods though, and the side torsos, you can't see them normally, but uh, when the LRMs are fired, you can just see the pods opening up at the uh, bottom left and right of the cockpit glass, which is really cool. Uh, I would actually like to be able to see those animations in the mech lab, if that would be possible. But... Yeah, it's, it's a minor thing, but it's kind of fun. It's nice to be able to see that little animation. Uh, keeps in, it's in fitting with the original art as well, which shows the, the missile bay doors open in the original TRO, so that's cool. It's also nice that this thing actually has a rounded head, which I was afraid that they might have just left that and gone with this more angular style, but it's nice to see that added. But overall, I, I really, really enjoy the mech. Um, it's, it's right on my alley. I, I think that's probably the reason why, so it's probably slightly biased. The Dervish is very straightforward, it's three weapon groups um, of two different weapon types basically. So it's easy to have just, you know, your energy weapons on your main left mouse, backup weapons on right mouse, and then your missiles on uh, your third uh, fire key. So you can focus on doing the business, getting damage done, and yeah, I, I've been posting good damage in these, which is surprising for me. A uh, minimum of 400. Which, for a mech that doesn't seem like it has a lot of firepower, suddenly uh, com comes into its own for me. Don't know why, but uh, I'm not complaining. Yeah, it's really fun. One thing I did notice, though, in keeping with the recent news that Russ was saying that mech packs aren't selling as well, uh, not very many Dervish. I've played at least 12 matches uh, the day the patch has come out uh, to making this video, and I think at most I've seen 8. And that was split between 
that was split between all those matches. I mean, this match, I'm the only Dervish. There's none on the other team either. Another match I played, there was, I think, two Dervish on the other team, and I was the lone one again. A um, bunch of matches after that, no Dervish. So, I don't know. It, it seems to play into the fact that there doesn't seem to be that many packs selling these days. I guess the Dervish just isn't doing anything unique that you can't do with other mechs. But that's the price PGI are paying for allowing you to have such heavy amounts of customization and giving mechs a lot, a lot of extra hard points. You don't need the Dervish if you've already got a mech that can do what the Dervish is doing. Is it jump? Do you have a jump capable mech that has missile and energy hard points? Yep. Well, there you go. You can build a Dervish. And <laughs> that's the problem. And that that's the issue they've got with uh, with MWO is that there's not really much incentive outside of it maybe being a a favourite mech of yours, or you like the design maybe, but that's it unfortunately. That's all they have, and I think less and less people are buying them, I think there's been oversaturation of new mech packs, and it's a shame because if you were to pick one up, I would actually recommend this as a meet if you're looking for a new medium. This is a fun build. Uh, it's, it's as I said, pretty straightforward, not bad, a smattering of hard points across the build. We know SRM splat builds are popular, so this mech should do well for those people. Um, but I don't think many people will pick this up even after the fact. So yeah, it's it's a bit of a shame. This one doesn't seem to have any hitbox issues either that I've noticed. I know the Rifleman 2C had a lot of complaints with regards to the CT. This doesn't really feel like it does, at least from the matches I've played. Uh, the side torsos didn't seem too squishy. The arms didn't get blown off instantly. The CT seemed to be quite tanky actually. So yeah, it's overall it's a fun mech. Uh, good builds for me. Uh, lots of customization option if you want to make splat builds, and it's quite fast with jump jets. Not really much to complain about. But uh, yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a good week, and I'll uh, see you next time. Bye bye.